Hi guys. Okay, so I feel like now is a pretty good time to show you guys how I got rid of my acne. I'm not sitting far away because like I'm just trying to like optical illusion like fraud you guys. It's just because I want to start off by talking about things that I ingested to get rid of my acne, okay? I guess you guys want to actually like see what my skin looks like right now. So I am going to show you. Evidently, my acne is not completely gone. Everyone's experience is so different as to like why they have acne. So I'm just going to give you guys a like, really quick like Sparks Notes version of my background and like my acne story. Essentially, my acne is primarily hormonal. I don't really eat sugar. I don't really eat greasy food. I don't really eat like processed food. So it really wasn't coming from just like random stuff like that. It was primarily because I, I don't know, my body just kind of hates me. A couple months ago, I decided to get off birth control. I was like, nobody got time for this no more. I was on the pill for about five years. And when I was on the pill, my skin was really nice. It was glowing, it was juicy. But I honestly just like didn't really feel, didn't like the way that my body was on birth control. So I went off of it. And when I got off of it, ooh, child, let me tell you something. My face was just like, <sighs> Like, no, like my body, I was blue. I looked like I was 15 months pregnant, a disaster, just a mess. I realized, wow, this is like not a sparseness version. <laughs> I'm definitely gonna need to insert some pictures of what it looked like before because it was not it. I was really struggling. Okay, so this is day two of the clay mask. This is not from the clay mask. This is just from my skin being really fucked up. The main thing that helped me with my acne was what I was consuming. Because I started off with doing skincare to get rid of my acne and nothing was working. And then when I started like ingesting different things, that's when I really saw the differences. So I was like, you know what? Let's start with the things that are actually like helpful and actually like real. Although I'm like making fun of it now, I actually was very stressed out about my skin. Like I literally legit cried about it at some point, which is like very unlike me to cry about random superficial stuff like this. But yeah, it was a little bit stressful. I did not like it. And by the grace of God, I basically managed to sort of get rid of most of it. So I'm gonna come in, I'll open your face, I'll open your grill a little bit. I'm filming this after I already did my skincare. You will be seeing it later, so they're just reversed. But anyway, I just did my skincare, but I wanted to show you guys that right here, although it looks like I'm breaking out, this is all scarring, except for this guy right here. This is all scars and it looks a little intense on camera because it's like 4K HD and I, it's like a little too much. But, um, and on this side, I just have one breakout right here and same thing on this side, one breakout. And right now I am on my period. I figured I would show, it would be a really good time to show you guys while I was actually in my prime breakout. I just ate like a tub of ice cream the other day and a ton of candy and a ton of sugar. Meanwhile, I'm like, I don't eat processed food, but you know what I mean. This is what my skin looks like right now. I'm very happy with it. And I will show you guys how I get it, okay? So I don't know why I'm being all like crazy. Soon, soon as we're here, can you hear? Yes, I do. Well, actually, no, I don't. Oh no, where's my spoonie spoon? Oh, I no. Alrighty, so. The very first thing that helped is, well, it's not this, but water. Yes, absolutely drink your water. So what you wanna do is you wanna start off with a glass of water and then, <clears throat> goddamn. Then you're gonna add three supplements into your water. The very first one is some MSM. So this, people use this for all sorts of reasons, for like hair, for like muscle recovery and all this stuff. I don't know, but I like to use a little bit of MSM. I got this off of Amazon. There's a lot of brands that have MSM. I don't think there's like any particular one that you have to get. I'm a grandma and I really love like little, I love like my little mason jar. So I put my MSM in my mason jar just because in the morning I'm like excited to like use it. Like I can just have my little jar. Wow, I'm a grandma, Jesus Christ. Okay. So you just want to take like, I don't know, like a little less than half of a tablespoon of MSM, boom, dump it in there. Second one is some organic bamboo extract. I know, really random, but it works. I also have it in a jar. So I've been doing this for some time so I can like bump up the amount that I'm using. But when you start off, please do read the instructions of whichever brand you get or whatever kind you get because it will let you know how much to use. Last but not least is some marine phytoplankton. I know, what the hell? I know, I know what you're thinking. I had no idea what the hell this was either. Actually, now that I'm thinking about it, I do want to give a shout out to this one YouTuber, Sonia. She had like a pretty intense 
acne journey like she went to see a dermatologist and she got put on all this like prescribed like antibiotics and all this stuff and my acne journey wasn't like that at all so if you are struggling really badly and you're you know you're going through stuff and you feel like nothing's working i think she would be a really good resource for you so definitely check out her videos but yes i do have it in a jar hold up this one i keep in the freezer because marine phytoplankton is straight up like swamp water like it is straight up just ocean superfood i keep mine in the freezer because I left it in the fridge at one point and it started to smell like legit like raw and fish and I was like, I think my fridge is a little, my fridge wasn't cold enough for it. So please make sure you leave it in the freezer. But this stuff is amazing. It has so, it's like an actual superfood. It's better than most superfoods that were like were taught in like school and stuff. I don't know, were you guys taught about superfoods? I don't know, I was. This thing has so many nutrients in it. Like I had no idea and it is absolutely amazing for you. Even if you don't have acne, it's really good for your nails, for your skin. Uh, for your hair it's really great for just like digestion as well and it has a ton of nutrients in it a bunch of like antioxidants and it has some like minerals and all this stuff really 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 good stuff so even if you don't have acne i would recommend using it i do about like two teaspoons of this stuff and you want to mix it and mix it and mix it and mix it and if you were curious yes it tastes and smells just like swamp water But I sort of like it. I don't eat fish, but I love like seaweed stuff. Like I love seaweed snacks are my favorite. Okay, I need to try it, cares. So I usually drink one glass of this every day. Honestly, the more you drink it, the more you're gonna get used to the flavor. So don't worry about it. Okay, please, please. For the marine phytoplankton, please look at my description for the one that I got. I think it's called Stimulina, Stimulina or something like that. Do not get it from TJ Maxx or like Marshalls or Home Goods. Like nothing against them. You get people who know me know I love me, my TJ Maxx Home Goods and stuff, but that is not a place where you want to get it. I got it from there because I was traveling. So this obviously is supposed to be refrigerated. So I was like, oh, this is like 10 bucks at Marshalls. Like I'll just buy it. And I tried it and I... <laughs> I, tried, I made my friend try it too and she was <laughs> disgusted by it, but it was like chunky, like stayed in your teeth. It smelled really, really bad. Like it was not, sorry, it just was really shitty. So please do not get like a hot one that's just been sitting like on the counter forever. Please don't do that. It's gonna, you're gonna die. So that's just like the actual like ingestion, like drink stuff. And then the rest of the things that I'm gonna show you guys are just like supplements. But I did want to say that check if you're either like lactose intolerant or soy intolerant because I noticed that when I stopped eating meat, obviously I had to like find different um, protein substitutes and I was eating so much tofu, like so much. And I didn't realize how soy intolerant I was. I didn't realize how much soy was in like legit everything. Like soybean oil and like soybean this and soybean that. And I noticed that when I cut down on eating soy, my skin got a lot better. And also soy, just you're not supposed to eat that much soy anyway. So do make sure that like you're, if you are vegetarian or you just like tofu, that you're not eating it in like crazy quantities like I was. So that's the only one thing that I would say was like, you know, like a food related thing. Um, all right, next. This is another thing that I got from Sonia. <laughs> you guys are like, why am I watching you? Just, just go watch her. Yeah, go, go, bye, go, leave, leave. I'm kidding, no, please say, please say, I need you to be yeah, yeah. Okay, this, this stuff is great. Next, I like to take some antibiotics. No, 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 probiotics. This is like a very popular one that people take when they have acne is pantothenic acid. It supports nutrient metabolism and cellular energy production. I haven't been going through the whole explanation of stuff because I ain't no doctor. I don't know, it just works. So <laughs> I'm not gonna get a new bottle of this. I don't think I need it. A lot of people say that it does help. So that's what we're doing. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I went through a couple of weeks of not taking it and I didn't notice a difference. So I have a feeling it's not that. The next thing that I absolutely love and that I think you should take is Multi Collagen Plus. And this is the types one, two, three, five, and 10. Some people say that collagen doesn't actually do anything. I don't know what people are like talking about. Like it's obviously been proven to support like joint support and stuff. I've always been taking collagen for like years, like ever since like college, I guess. Two of these. I could crack it on my bowls and shit. Wait, I didn't even show you guys what I meant to show you. <sighs> I'm sorry, I'm like a little all over the place, but in the next video I will be more organized, I promise. But this is the HMF Intensive Daily Probiotic Supplement. And when I went on vacation, I couldn't bring this because you're supposed to refrigerate it. So I, could, I didn't take it for two weeks. And I noticed by the end of my trip, my skin started to get a little bit like more, um, I started to get a lot more breakouts. 
um, especially when I got back from my trip and like that could have been the traveling and all that. And then when I started taking them again, my skin cleared up. So, you know, like I have a pretty good sense of what it is that worked and what it is that didn't really work. Let me just take one of them. Obviously, I'm not like a doctor or a dermatologist and I don't really know this kind of stuff. I can just give you what has worked for me, which is this stuff. And the only thing I will say though is be really careful with supplements. Like you have to take them with a meal. So make sure that you're taking them with dinner or with breakfast. Whenever you take your pills, you're gonna get a stomach ache if you don't, okay? Make sure you're keeping your, your swamp extraments in the freezer or the fridge because it balls think. And um, it's getting a little late. So the skincare stuff helped with more of like the, obviously surface level stuff. That's it for here. Everything I just mentioned is gonna be in the description box and let's move on to the skincare stuff. I'm not making the sound, but I really wanna do it. Okay, bye. <laughs>